What's your name? Bailey. All right, what you have in here? Uh, two SA15s on an Ampere Audio 5K wired at 2 ohms. 2 ohms? Yeah. So really efficient, clean power? Yeah, it ain't too bad. What about your electrical? Uh, just stock alternator, uh, zero gauge, three extra batteries in the back, nothing fancy, just... Okay. Is it port ported box? Yeah, tuned to uh, 24 hertz. 24. 24. Lows. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, it tries. <laughs> yeah. So the sub, what the subs allow? Yeah. Hey, here's My, a question. Was it built at a shop? No. It was built in his front yard. Really? And, okay. And uh, what'd you say? About a day total? About a day. Yeah. About a day, day. Oh, all right. Well, half a day of me planning it beforehand. Yeah. Okay. So about a day and a half. Are these the V3s? Yeah. Can I see the back of the box? I'm wondering if it's airport or slot. I'm gonna guess slot. Oh yeah. It goes back, splits off, and then jumps a layer and goes back the other way. So that's why it's tuned so low. Yeah. Is it almost like a T line or something? It's yeah. basically a T line, yeah. I like how you did the little post at the bottom to keep it from moving back. Yeah. yeah. Had to do something. That way it don't he slide. kept he kept losing because it was sliding too close. That's what happens. That's yeah. a good idea. That's the first time I've seen that. I've seen people ratchet strap or screw really? to the floor. Well, I, or I you put a piece of wood underneath yeah. and screw to that. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have mine set up just like this in my blazer because it did the same thing. Yeah. You ever yeah. thought about putting a PVC here? Or something simple. It sounds ugly, but just yeah. a little round over might may help. Over. Well, I got, a, uh, I got a round over bit at the house. I, I thought about doing it beforehand, but... We were trying to finish it up before one of the shows we were putting on. Yeah, we we hosted. And kind of just ran out of ran out of time. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Good little budget subs too. Oh yeah. Whew. Yeah, give three hundred bucks for both yeah. of them. I can't. I hope <laughs> it don't rain again. Oh um, yeah, me too. Stock alternator. Yeah. Appreciate oh, it. Pops are good. All right. Sure. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. That's the most important part of this. Oh yeah. That's my old and it's I a two ohm. Yeah. So you didn't want to do half ohm because you don't have the electrical two ohm for efficiency. Yeah. So you upgrade later. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. You got it. I understand. I used to. I had two fifteens and then four fifteens and then four eighteens and I've been through a lot of them. Yeah. yeah Twelve. It sounds like almost like the four fifteens working out the best. Again, for you. it's dirty and nothing fancy, but it's all right. Gets the job done. It's done. I like that. That block. Yeah. Man. I've been telling him that since you got them. It's important that block. Yeah. yeah, but it looks so good. Yeah, that looks good too. And I got a spool of wire on the way to redo all my ground and all that shit. Heck yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Name again? Billy. Billy. All right.
Sure, it's peaking still pretty high. Yeah, it peaks at uh, uh, 37. I think, I think that's got something to do with the resonance of the vehicle. Okay. Yeah. It still can play low though. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it'll play. We built it to be pretty musical. Yeah. But when it was built, cabin game was never factored in. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll play some that makes sense. Lower. We just kind of threw something together. Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm going to get back here. Yeah, you're good. Uh, <laughs> I like to see it. Nice battery bank. Hey, it works. Yeah, it does. Get some 25. Why did you invert it? Oh, huh? What made you invert? Smokes, mostly. <laughs> Got a little smell on that one. <laughs> What's going on guys? I'm Jake Varl. Do daily cardio videos. Hope you enjoyed the build today. It was a custom subwoofer box for 212s. Uh, maybe budget, maybe not, depending on the person. Definitely budget and considered to me, as well as it was a custom box T-line. So tuned fairly low, but it, e it either peaks high as well, but I'll be discussing that later in this video. But just be sure to like it if you enjoyed it, as well as give some uh, good feedback in the comments. Let the owner know as well as me what you think. And if you want a shout out, let me know as well. So good feedback and a shout out if you want one. I'll check out your channel. That goes to the next thing. Shout out of the day. Do one every day. Today is going to go to one of my subscribers. Appreciate you guys all being subscribers and watching every day. Today is going to go to Wicked Evil Base. He said, hey man, I watch all of your videos. Sick demo today with the video, which is one of them I posted. He said, holy crap, I'll take another shout out, man. My channel's crap, but I don't care. I like your videos. So there's your shout out there, Wicked Evil Base. Appreciate you watching, man. And uh, thanks for enjoying the videos and giving me likes and comments and feedback. Appreciate it, man. So one thing to talk about before I end today, and that's going to go to tuning and peak frequency. But before that, just want to say, be sure to add me on Instagram and Facebook, Jacob Vile, if you haven't. So I'd like to get with my social media people as well. There's nothing wrong with uh, expanding my, uh, pretty much my travel of what I'm doing on a daily basis with my videos on the media as well. So, tuning versus peak. Why, how, explain, cabin adjustments, etc. So, this guy said his box was T-lined, tuned to 30, 24 hertz. 24 hertz is very low, but he was peaking in the mid-30s. Why and how is that? So... You have a cabin frequency peak that resonates at a different frequency than your box. SPL gurus will normally say you want to tune your box around where your SP, your resonance of your vehicle is, and it varies from vehicle to vehicle. You can't even tell somebody what your vehicle resonance is from vehicle to vehicle unless they've tested it. With, I think, a sealed box, you can Google it or look on YouTube for some testing on how to find your resonance of your vehicle. But that's how they do it. They find out the resonance of their frequency in their vehicle, and they want to tune around that. But this guy was tuned to 24 hertz on a T-line. So it's tuned to that. It can play down low, but it's peaking in the mid-30s. So it's still fairly low for a ported box, still doing really well. But just wanted to say that, keep in mind, guys, if your box is tuned at one thing, and it's peaking at another, doesn't mean that you are not getting um, where you want to be with your 
system. It just means that your vehicle is resonating at a different frequency. So you could be tuned at 32 hertz, but peak at 44 hertz. It happens all the time. Um, there's nothing really you can do about that. The biggest goal of that is pretty much to control how your port area is, how your port's tuned, where your port location is, how much space your box is allowed within your subwoofer enclosure. There's a lot of things you can do for adjustments as well as testing to get the most output out of your system. It's all in the box. A lot of people will tell you that. So I'd say about 60 to 70% of the vehicle with the system is in the box. So that's all I got to say. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm not good about with this and knowledge. So feedback, comments, let me know what I said wrong as well as it's teaching me. So give me some feedback in the comments. I love to see things about car audio and peak frequency resonance of a vehicle versus tuning is a big topic to talk about. You could talk an hour on it. Some guys can help me with that. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for a video tomorrow. Until then, peace out guys.